it's turning out quite gluey on the bottom. Um, hang on. See there. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is go to Mighty 10 and see if I can get the, um, some sanding paper. The, um, my orbiter because I think I want to just do sand now to see. Um, I think people usually hire professional sanding machines, but I don't even know if I want to do that because I'm not doing a good job here. Just a rough job because this floor is not worth too much stress. Um, but so far, the quality of it um, is not too bad. Um, you can see where I've made dents in the wood already due to the... Is that me? I guess that's me. I don't know. Yeah, I just noticed that now. But hey, I could probably sand out some of those. Um, but yeah, I mean, you. I don't think you could restore this. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go... Before I make any preconceived judgments, um, prejudice against this, uh, this floor, I'm going to go and grab some sanding paper because it's what's needed. So I'll duck out and get that now. But... The cork's coming off easy, so that's cool. Um, I don't really know what plan B is. <laughs> plan A doesn't work. Maybe getting some vinyl off cut and just whopping some vinyl down. I don't know. I was thinking about those peel and stick tiles, but I just don't know if I can bring myself to do it. But we will see. They're actually quite expensive too. They are not cheap. So here in New Zealand, everything's a little bit more pricey -o. Anyway, in the fourth length, I'm off to get some sandpaper. Is some the lights not very good here but some gorgeous looking wood under here but this is the issue and so I'm really glad I bought some of this I don't know if it will do the job but we'll give it a go but it's supposed to remove um like old adhesive which this is what that is so I think I'm wanting to give this a try because this is looking quite beautiful after some sanding I mean if this works, that actually won't take too long to do um, in the scheme of the world. But look at that compared to that. Like, that's beautiful. So, yeah, the other thing I looked at, I went to Mother 10 just quickly now, and I looked at some resin, but I need to do some research. That will come last, but you can see the quite there's quite a few cracks and the other thing is that it's really like bumpy along here which doesn't really matter it's not the, not the end of the world but yeah I'm kind of excited so let's give this a try because now um hang on Kyle's gone into a meeting so I have to have quiet time <laughs> then the perks of having a um working at home significant other it's amazing i love it but um i gotta find something quiet to do now so i'm gonna give that solvent a go and see what happens i'm just gonna do it on the patch underneath where i can hide it from the kit lids so Whew, here we go this is gonna be a bit interesting okay i don't know um where i got up to in the last bit but um i don't know if that did anything I'll have to look at these videos. I should have taken some before and after pictures. Um, I'm just going to leave it, like I've kind of rubbed it in, so we'll just see what happens. But yeah, it's a bit, I think probably the only, the only solution here is to probably hire a sander. 
like a industrial grade one. So I'm going to look up and see how much those are um, to hire for a couple of hours. Because I think if I do the cork, I think if I do the cork, then take all that off and then I can do the sanding. Um, so I might do a little bit of more research about what that looks like or how much that is. And yeah, because that orbiter sand is going to take far too long. And then the cork, it's just, it's not powerful enough for that adhesive. So yeah. But I mean, it's, I know you're under there. Um, but yeah. Just a little bit disappointed because I thought that I might have that patch clear. But these are what you, this is what you learn when you're renovating. Nothing is ever easy, <laughs> nothing is ever straightforward, and nothing is free. <laughs> um, that's alright, it's a learning process, so I just feel like if we did a really nice job for this, we could actually end up keeping these floors, but it's not going to happen because we're going to, we're going to turn this into the living room eventually, so we're going to have to put something down there right through. I mean we could possibly get tongue and groove and put it down. It's probably a bit cheaper than the old laminate boards but um, we'll deal with that from when we get there but um, they actually run the wrong way as well. I want them facing like that way towards the um, the garden but at the moment the boards are going that way which is not quite what we're after so um, will aesthetics win or will cheapness win? We'll wait and see but anyhow um, so that's today's effort. Not much to report here. Oh, actually, tonight I'm going to get up and do the. Um, I'm going to sand back. Um, I might just have a rest tonight. Actually, I've done quite a bit today. <laughs> but no, I might um, sand back the um, roof and put the fiberglass tape on. Just looking at it now, um, because then that's one step closer to plastering, which means one step closer to painting. And I'm thinking I'm going to paint. The entirety of this roof so um, yeah I think it will be good to paint it actually um, I think it will really cheer and cheer the place up but um, I have to wash it first so that might be another job as well for a night time um, all these are really good nighttime activities because they're not noisy for my little ones right I will see you when I see you so I have a little apology to make to that solution that I used yesterday Um, because it turns out I think it actually did an alright job. Let's have a look. Right. So, this is yesterday. So, if we go here, this is yesterday's part. Um, and you can see there's no glue on it. We're over here. This is where I've just peeled up. You just cannot get a bit like. You can see the difference, but you just can't see what it's like on the camera, unfortunately. But there's all these little parts, particles here stuck to the floor. So, I think there's still glue here, like tacky, but I think that will come off with some heavy sanding. So I think I'd just um, take, use that other stuff to get the, the real stubborn stuff off. Or is that really stubborn? That's probably not that stubborn. But to give it a bit of a clean, because then sanding will probably be easier. Um, and I've looked up online and done some reading. Um, so when you sand the glue, it gets hot and then gets sticky, which you want to avoid. So the more glue I can take off before sanding, the better, because then less heat and stickiness and all that jazz. So um, I'm going to keep on keeping on, because I think I walked on that last night and it's not sticky to walk on. So that's kind of what I was mainly concerned about because that's what the laundry was like so um I'm going to keep on keeping on this is going to take some time to do though so I'm only going to so today I'm only going to try and get up to I think that what's that one two that second cupboard and go right along there and just do this little patch here and just do bit by bit because I think it's going to take some time
so guys, I think I was a little bit impatient with the process, impatient with the process, just think about the right word there, um, because I think of this, <sighs> sorry, I don't think my mask is working, look at that, how cool is that? So that's the original wood. So this is going to be Matai or Remo, which is just gorge. It's going to take some time, so I think I'll get a professional sander. Um, yeah, I need to put my mask back on. I can breathe in the shit. Anyway, I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to record all this because who needs to see me doing this for hours on end? But I'll show you where I get up to today.